Hello my friends, welcome to another video. This time we're doing stashes on woods. Uh, extremely underrated. No one ever loots these stashes. So the very first one, uh, let's just act that I spawned at the UN roadblock. I had to run a couple of a couple of meters to get here. But the very first one is at the bushes here. There's a bunch of branches on the ground and uh, right in between here, you get the first stash. The, the main reason we're doing stashes is because these are extremely underrated in my opinion. No one ever loots them. It came up on my stream the other day that no one really does this. So why not make a video on it and you guys can make some bank on it as well. Uh, we're going to keep running past the little uh, train station here. Uh, also, I did this run about four or five times yesterday. I saw a grand total of two players on my way. Uh, they weren't doing stashes. So I'm fairly confident that if you loot or if you do this route, you're going to get uh, most of these stashes. Uh unlooted or untouched or whatever you want to call it there's a total of 11 i believe and out of my four or five runs uh one of the stashes was hit to, um total so i am fairly confident that we can get all of the loot basically so i guess i should uh <laughs> give you guys some pointers so this big rock here once you get past the train station you get to this big rock that was a scary shot uh, right underneath here between the in this little gap basically it's the stash. I'm going to run past this uh, rock here, the big one, towards the new, the sawmill. I'm going to paint kill up just in case we run into some gamers here. Also, while we're running, guys, I would appreciate it if you drop us up. We are very, very close to 10k, which is actually kind of incredible. Um, never thought I'd get here. At least not, a, not this fast. So thank you for all the support, guys. And if you wouldn't mind, drop us up if you haven't. So once you get over this hill... You're gonna look for this uh, rock here. It's kind of flat rock. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but right underneath it, on the side of the hill, there is another stash here. Obviously, depending on where you spawn, you may spawn on outskirts. As you can see right now, I have at the outskirts extract, so we're doing it this way. But if you spawn at outskirts, you can do this literally in reverse and. Uh, and yeah, you won't have any trouble. So basically run to the top of the hill here. And we're going to run like on the top of it towards the sniper rock, basically. I sh probably should have brought an SJ6 to move this along for the video. Uh, I forgot, so my apologies. We do have a couple of toolboxes on our way as well to help us uh, fill the bag. You don't need any special gear for this um i do it with a mosin a big rig and a big bag here you go i ensure this stuff because i might find something you like very good in the stashes because stashes obviously they're random root so it's uh, random loot sorry uh, it's complete rng so you never know what you're gonna get out of them might get a slick or something uh, cool like that so the next one is basically when you come up you know there's uh that area is overlooking the sniper uh, on the rocks there but before you go there you turn right along this wall and between the tree and the rocks here is the next stash man these stashes are not cooperating with me at the moment we're gonna run up here as well we got a technical crate and a toolbox plus some uh, loot on the ground potentially so loose uh, industrial spawns can spawn on the ground here and we got a toolbox which is empty and the technical supply crate so this is an area that yeah this was probably hit before uh, this is a very common spot to kill the sniper but we're gonna long, run along the the wall here to the next toolbox at this little uh, tower looking thing and this was hit as well probably by the same person no matter uh, we're gonna run downhill Uh, I'll basically follow this path here. And then we turn left. And basically where this uh, little fork... Uh, fork is, you're gonna go... Uh, this way. I always... <laughs> always have trouble finding this one. But you basically turn right from the fork and... Wow, these stashes are not doing a very good job at cooperating with me. So basically... Go right from this bush towards these bushes. I have a much easier time finding it coming down from there, which is where we're going right now. So 
along this rock you're gonna run up to this hill a little bit you have to jump up here because it's obviously great mapping and we're skating to the another stash or to the next stash beautiful so basically the next one you jump up it's right underneath the tree uh, facing the rocks here and we're gonna go downhill Uh, going towards this rock and uh, just going down from the left side of it and you can see this little pathway basically where this uh, little fork in the road is or crossroad whatever you want to call this is where you go in and at this bush is the uh, next dash now obviously you're not every time you're not gonna get the the best spawn for it so don't really worry about it if you can't hit every single stash uh, I will put the stash run link or the, the map of it in the description uh by the way we're following this path basically basically just follow the side of roads and take uh, cover in the trees i'll put the map in the description so you can kind of follow it along uh it's along with spawn points so feel free to deviate from them so basically where you get to this uh, little uh, fork in the road once again uh, you're looking for the tallest tree in this little uh, patch of trees or whatever you want to call it and right underneath it is the next stash I actually don't have a lot of loot right now um, we're taking both rigs because why not I might as well fill them up it's extra rubles you may ask how much I'm gonna make um, I did like I said, I think I did five runs last night and I made on average, I would say around 600 K or uh, it didn't take me longer than like 12 minutes. And it's like I said, it's relatively safe. I saw two PMCs. One of them did kill me because I, I ran into him. I didn't see him. I got the other one though. So I'm uh, one and one with these. Um, sorry, I'm not giving good information here. So basically past this truck you're gonna turn into the rocks and you're going through this little gap here and you're gonna hold on to the hug the rocks on the right and between the tree and the rock is the next stash yellow flare uh, beautiful if you can find a yellow flare just shoot it for uh for good luck in the next stash it 10 out of 10 works every single time so you're gonna go through the gap here turn left basically and you're gonna get to this little uh, pile of rocks or whatever you want to call it and basically at the bottom it, bottom of it next to the tree is the next one uh, right here now we got it <laughs> the flare didn't work uh, this is where we came from and that's where we're going Basically going towards the next rocks here through the trees. You're gonna run with the rocks on your right, basically. You do want to keep eyes on that side over there. People uh, cross this field quite a bit to get to the USA camp. USA camp is right on the other side of this hill here. We're gonna keep walking with the rocks on our right. Uh, that field over there as well. And you're looking for the power lines, basically. And you're getting under... Basically, that concrete bit there is where the next stash is. And that's where we're, where we're uh, running. And that's the uh, USEC camp. There's a guy in front of me there. He's just being chilling. Uh, USEC camp is right there. And uh, this guy was taking my stash. I don't appreciate that. So we are taking his loot instead. So dropping my Mosin, getting the RD. I don't mind that at all. He has the good rounds as well by the looks of it, which is very, very good. And that basically just ruined the video because <laughs> I got a lot more than uh, stash loot here, which is great.
see if I can fit it all in my pockets here. I think the chops are worth a couple of rubles, so I, I kind of do want to keep them. Um, by no means, I'm no expert in every single price of every single item in the game. In case you didn't notice. Uh, check the pockets here real quick. Drop the pistol. And... And I'll just, that tape is kind of worthless. I'll take this stuff as well, of course. Drop this, take the pistol. It's worth a lot more. Mm. Yeah, I think this is good enough. So, uh, yeah. So, this is the stash right here. Croutons, hose. And... Actually, kind of, I don't even know what's. I'm gonna drop this strap, I think. I think the strap's like 20k. The hose and the D fuel should cover it. And what I do now is just follow the power lines until you get to the rock. So, I know a lot of you are gonna be worried about mines on the. over here. But the mines don't start. Actually, I don't even know where the mines start over here. Not even gonna lie to you. I know the border runs over there somewhere. But uh, if you just run underneath the power lines, you'll be fine. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Now, like I said before, stashes are complete RNG. But you you can easily make, I would say, 600k average uh, in like 10-12 minutes. So once you're past the, this big monstrosity, you're gonna go towards the rock over there. I am extremely heavy, and it is it should just mule. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Uh, but once again, be careful. People uh, roam around on the trees on the left there. So you go come past come past the rock, top of the little hill here, and inside of this bush is the next urn, the final stash. PPP. Uh, dropping the horse, taking these. Now, somewhere along this road, as you can see, the mine uh, signs are over there, but I'm pretty sure the there's an invisible sniper in the trees there that's going to shoot you if you follow this road. So don't go over there. If you look at the map, uh, at some point this road's turning red, so I never dared step my foot there. Just going to go across the road from the stash here and you'll be fine. And you can turn right over here. If you're wondering where we are, uh, a couple of reference points is the the big old rocks over there. Uh, both of these rocks are kind of like sni known for sniping, and then this area here, I'm sure you'll recognize. Basically, down this road is the little roadblock with the with the SUV with the keycard spawn and so on, and uh, loose loot on these pallets here. Uh, full disclosure never checked it before and didn't know there was a spawn there but now you know uh, basically what I do is I follow this uh, fence or this wall along until 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 I get to the rocks here if you have the ZBO 14 key and you see the screen smoke you can just go down there unlock the door and extract but I'm gonna go and show you the way to outskirts basically which is just straight ahead here I don't carry the ZB key with me uh, but if you're super heavy, and if I had the key right now, and if I was in a raid and not recording, I would definitely take that. Because there's no more loot out here anyway. One taps. Um, and yeah, basically. Someone is flashing over there, can't be asked. Uh, you do you, man. Yeah, so you run past the scab house over there. If you want to be a little safer, you can go more towards right. Once again, don't go past the signs. The signs are the indication that you're going to blow yourself up if you go past them. 
depending on the time of day and uh, if it's a weekend and so on and so forth, you may get more traffic along the way. But the stash where I killed the player is the stash that usually gets looted most commonly, I believe. And um, as you noticed, the rest of them were not looted at all. Uh, the price or the value of items you're getting is kind of value or vary, sorry, a lot because it is stashes. But like I said, 11 stashes, I would say yeah, most of the times you're going to get your uh, bag full or full enough, depending on how big your bag is, of course, as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good, good day. If you wouldn't mind, please help me get past the 10K subs and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thank you and have a good day.